it's easier. Just be myself. Right now, I love the Nigerian gospels. You know, like I've downloaded uh, the top 50 Nigerian gospel songs and um, just everything that praises God, that, you know, just talks about how good God is. And uh, so right now I'm listening to quite, to, to, to quite, um, uh, you know, I, I, th I think my best one is one that is saying, you cannot like describe who God is. Like there's no question about who God is. You know, it doesn't matter how you try and describe him. You, you, you can't just put a question mark there because there's no question mark. There's no place for that. So that's just my favorite song. But I have similar ones. I've download, downloaded Nigerian songs. So when I'm running, I've got those and I'm praising God throughout. All the 45 minutes I'm, I'm running, I'm like praising God for for his faithfulness and there's another one which says Adonai and it just goes on and on and on describing how you, you, you can't God just is and put a how question big mark there. he is there's no and how faithful he no is in our lives and so how when he promises my something favorite song, he will but see I have through similar ones I've downloaded I'm praising God throughout all the 45 minutes so that's a difficult one for me because I'm never depressed I'm like I'm I'm happy God like I'm always happy Adonai however for goes, people who might be feeling depressed this morning, how I would you just say easy. my advice to you is just pray. pray. How faithful is God in our lives? And, and how that he promises something. You know, sometimes you will see you know, and depression happens and ones, for many I'm reasons. Not, 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 uh, but for some people, it's you know, you've got to make sure and you're dwelling on it and the rising it. That's a difficult one for me because I'm never just remember we're just I'm only I'm happy God like I'm always. If you've got an issue, just pack it. Just give it to God and pack it and come back to live your life while He does what He knows best. And However, uh, for people yeah, who might just, just uh, live life and please don't allow yourself to get depressed. It starts slowly and gets worse. Don't allow yourself to get depressed. Just leave all your, all your worries. Feeling depressed this morning. morning. How I would, would just say my advice to you is just pray. pray. How faithful is God in our lives? Take and how that He promises something. Sometimes we see you know, and depression happens for many reasons. But for some people, God will show you the way to walk and know the price. That's a difficult one for me because just remember, just remember, we're just happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Like I'm always. If you've got an issue, just pack it. Just give it to God and pack it. Come back to live your life while he does what he knows how to And However, uh, for people yeah, who might just, just uh, live life and please don't allow yourself to get depressed. It starts slowly and gets worse. Don't allow yourself to get depressed. Just leave all your, all your worries. Feeling depressed this morning. How I would just say my Taking over the it's breakfast the show. So let me just tell you a bit about myself. I am um, uh, I'm the CEO and managing director for Absa Bank Zambia, and we recently rebranded, as you know. So we're very excited, and uh, yeah, that's what I do for a living. I'm a managing director of the bank, and I'm also a mother, a married, and I have two children. One is nearly, uh, one is 18, and one is 11. So. Those are my two children, and I have a big family, a big extended family. So, yeah, so that's about me, and uh, I am a Christian. I go to Capital Impact Center. That's my church, and I'm um, actually 
honored that uh, Christian Voice, Radio Christian Voice has given me 30 minutes. I come from a very big family and uh, I grew up here in Zambia uh, and, uh, you know, I went to school between here in Zambia and in the UK. So mostly Zambia and UK, higher education UK. Otherwise, I'll be here and I went to Roma Girls. So, you know, hands up to all the Roma Girls and, uh, you know, I love you guys. And that's really a brief background about myself. Uh, so for me, I always actually wanted, funny enough, I wanted to be a banker. Uh, I did want to uh, work for Standard Chartered Bank simply because my dad used to have an account there. So every time I would escort my dad to the bank and uh, as we were going to the bank, I would see these ladies very immaculately dressed behind the counters. And uh, I would say, my goodness, just one day I'm going to be a teller. I'm going to be a cashier. So I always wanted to be a cashier just because of that journey with my dad to the bank every day. I never made it to be a cashier, uh, you know, and, but, but that's just what I always wanted to become when I grow up. I got up at quarter past uh, six, or I started running at quarter past six today. So I ran uh, five Ks, five kilometers, and uh, it was very cold. So, so, so there's everybody telling you, you can't do that because it's really cold. And I'm thinking, you've got to conquer these difficult times. And you start by giving yourself a challenge. Because when, I, when I start by giving myself a challenge, it actually works very well for me. So the challenge I've given myself this week, although I'm a runner, I run all the time. But this week I've said every day, 5Ks from quarter past 6 to 7. So that's what I did this morning. And by 7, I was back, took a shower. And uh, eight on the dot, I was on, uh, you know, a, a call, or on, on a Zoom call, on a Teams call, Microsoft Teams call. And that we were looking at the strategy. And the strategy we we're looking at was how does, you know, how do we look at the bank differently now that we have COVID? And I spent, you know, about a good three hours on the call. And I decided to drive while I'm coming here. I, I, I was actually still working. So that's the advantage of this environment because you don't necessarily have to be stuck in one place to work. Like when I finish, then I'll go. I was actually working in the car, so I thank God for my driver. I never have a typical morning that is identical to the previous one. Reason being, as a CEO, what you plan for is not what happens. It's not what happens because life just happens. Maybe you come to the office and you find you have a huge resignation and you're like, my goodness, you should have told me yesterday that you're leaving, but you didn't, so I have to deal with that. Or you find a customer who's got a complaint. You know, I, I had uh, my loan, I applied it last week. You told me it would be ready in 24 hours and it's not. And there I am calling my team, what happened there? So my typical day is very different, which makes my job very interesting because of that. So before I used to eat a lot of jungle oats, but then I stopped because I figured I'm running so much, but I'm not losing weight. What's happening? Then I figured mm, this jungle oats has a lot of uh, calories. So now I have changed. I love my scrambled egg and um, uh, fish fingers. And I also do a lot of, I blend juices. So my favorite at the moment, it just depends on what fruit we have. Now, right now, there's watermelon and banana. That's my favorite. It's amazing. You should try it. Watermelon and banana is just, it's just amazing. And, and that's what I'm doing. If it's mango season, then I blend mango. Uh, but I try and add a bit of carrot in there, a bit of spinach sometimes. But not in the watermelon and, and banana. I just leave it like that. I love it like that. One food I could never bring myself to eat is vinkubala. Oh, I'm thinking, really? Okay, vinkubala, I can't eat, I'm sorry. And my husband, my husband is Bemba, and we agreed, like, from the start, like, we don't cook vinkubala here, and we don't, okay? I'm Tonga, he's Bemba, and we agreed on that, that we're going to eat drink you want to, but not vinkubala. And it's, we agreed, and we like it like that. So if you visit us, you're not going to eat vinkubala, because... I just like, really, we shouldn't be eating vinkubala, but everybody loves them. I don't. So my best childhood memory is always, like I say, I come from such a huge family. 
me playing with my brother on a tractor. My father was a farmer. So me playing on a tractor, you know, with my brothers, that's just always, I was always an outdoor girl, always outdoor. I was outdoor. I guess that's why I still have a lot of energy. Like, you know, my team always wonders. I'm always running just because, literally, just because, you know, I have a lot of energy. So I got this advice when I first took over the CEO role at Standard Chartered. And uh, the boss who uh, I was taking over from, I kind of asked them, I said, so how do CEOs behave? And he said, just be yourself. I love that. Like, just be yourself. I said, really? He says, are you sure? He says, just be yourself. You'll be best when you are yourself. So I've always stood by that. Just be yourself. Everybody tells me I've got such a loud laugh. And my husband says, you don't laugh like that. You're the MD. And I'm like, but just be myself. It's easier. Just be myself. Right now, I love the Nigerian gospels. You know, like I've downloaded uh, the top 50 Nigerian gospel songs and um, just everything that praises God, that, you know, just talks about how good God is. And uh, so right now I'm listening to quite, to, to, to quite, um, uh, you know, I, I, th I think my best one is one that is saying, you cannot like describe who God is. Like there's no question about who God is. You know, it doesn't matter how you try and describe him. You, you, you can't just put a question mark there because there's no question mark. There's no place for that. So that's just my favorite song. But I have similar ones. I've download, downloaded Nigerian songs. When I'm running, I've got those and I'm praising God throughout. All the 45 minutes I'm, I'm running, I'm like praising God for for his faithfulness and there's another one which says Adonai and it just goes on and on and on describing how good God is and how big he is and how faithful he is in our lives and how when he promises something he will see it through and that's my favorite song that's a difficult one for me because I'm never depressed I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm a happy girl like I'm always happy uh, however for people who might be feeling depressed this morning, I would just say my advice to you is just pray and uh, just don't take life too seriously. You know, sometimes, you know, and depression happens for many reasons, uh, but for some people is you've got an issue and you're dwelling on it and analyzing it and overanalyzing it. Just, just remember, we're just all living a life. And uh, if you've got an issue, just pack it. Just give it to God and pack it and come back to live your life while he does what he knows best. And uh, yeah, j just uh, live life and please don't allow yourself to get depressed. It starts slowly and gets worse. Don't allow yourself to get depressed. Just leave all your, all your worries to God and he will deal with that. It's actually a Bible verse. And uh, it actually says, um, you know, it's from Isaiah. And, uh, you know, it talks about how God will never leave me nor forsake me. When I go through the rough waters, he will be with me. When I go through the rivers, I shall not drown. When I go through the water, the, the fire, I shall not burn. And, uh, you know, he will always be there for me. I, I live by that because... There are times when I wake up and think, mm, this is getting tough. How am I going to do this? Then I remember that I am not alone after all. And the Bible never promised us that we'll never go through challenging times. But they promised us that when we go through challenging times, God is going to be on our side. And because it's going to be on my side, I just live very, very peacefully. And that's what I live by. So that's my Bible verse. You know, whenever I think about that, I think I would still be Mizinga. I think I would still be Mizinga. But because I have to ask myself this question and think of somebody else, I think if I wasn't me, I would probably be Michelle Obama. I love Michelle Obama. And um, I just love everything about her. I kind of emulate her hairstyle, her dress code, her makeup. I emulate her a lot. So if I wasn't me, that's why I would still be me because I emulate Michelle and... Um, I just think she spends a lot of time uh, 
with uh, doing good, doing good in this world. And she uses her office very effectively. She uses who God has placed her at such a time as this so effectively. And it's to give back to the community. And for me, that's what I try and be. Uh, we shouldn't be in these positions, in these offices for ourselves, but we should be doing what we are doing for the better good of everybody else around us. And that's what Michelle does, and I can only try and emulate her. I think I've done a lot of courageous things before, uh, but probably, yeah, I think the most courageous thing I've done is, you know, when I, when I was first appointed to a CEO role, I thought that took a lot of courage. Number one, I was new to the market, and that was in 2008 when I was appointed uh, to CEO as, at Standard Chartered Bank. And I was new to the market, new to the job. And it took a lot of... And, and my biggest pillar was not around anymore, and that was my dad. So, so before I would look to my dad to, to support me in these difficult decisions, and I would say, Dad, how am I going to do that? Because he had a lot of experience. Uh, by the way, I'm the last born in my family. So I had a lot, you know, I would always look up to him. However, uh, because he wasn't there when I took on the role, that took a lot of courage to just get grounded and say, I can do this. Uh, even if I don't have my dad around to support me, I can do this. Um, yeah, by the way, I am writing a book and I talk a lot about that. When it's published, we can, we can read about that. You know what? I think my biggest regret is when I was much younger, I used to worry a lot about stuff. And I used to worry and overthink things, which is why I'm able to say I don't do that anymore. So if I have to think back, you know, it's interesting because as you grow up, as I grow up, then you realize that life teaches you that there's no need to worry about stuff. There's no need to overthink things that that affect you. Uh, so there was a period in my life when I was doing that. And in hindsight, I look at myself and say, wow, uh, th there's this power in experience and in growing up because it shows you that there are very few things in life that should worry you. And when we really say, you know, and the Bible says, leave all your worries to God. It, it's so factual, but it's difficult for us to do. Look, I mean, if I was told I only had one week to do, I would, um, oh my God, number one, I would make sure that I, I, I once again, uh, you know, tell God that I love him so much. And, uh, uh, you know, if there was any little ounce left, of doubt that I'm not born again than I am because I would always want to be on his right side so that's what I would do and I would just spend a lot of time with family I love my family and uh, my extended family I just love being around around them so I would just spend a lot of time with my family and probably I would spend time also just doing good just doing good right because you only have one week so you have to do good so when you meet with God. There'll be no questions asked there. So yeah, that's what I would do. I think if I could read minds, I could probably read Hannah's mind. I thought Hannah was a powerful woman. And um, if I just look at Hannah's story and I, I, I like to, uh, to follow how you know, how she, how she was blessed in the end when it took so long for her to have a child and, 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 and then she was able to listen to God and all that. I would probably want to get in her mind in terms of what, what was going on in her mind through, throughout that time and how was she able to endure uh, and still celebrate in the end. Uh, so so I, I love many people in the Bible, but I love my woman, Hannah. So I, I would do that. I would probably want to know more about, about Hannah. Uh, I, I love Joseph as well. So maybe one extra, I would also want to find out more about Joseph. And especially when he was being very proud with his colorful coat and 
you know, he, he had his own mind and his brothers had another weird mind, you know, the jealous mind. But he had, he had like a happy mind and I would want to understand what he was going through because cause that was him, right? That described who Joseph was. Okay, that's a difficult question because I don't fear many things. Like I say, I've learned to put my worries, to give my worries to God and I deal with life and with experience. You know that stuff happens and uh, they come to pass anyway. So I don't know if I have any biggest fear like, oh, I'm so scared of this. I love true life stories. You know, stories that will just uh, talk to me about j just about life. So, yeah, so any true life movies, um, you know, I, I can watch. Uh, but I like stories also like Ben-Hur. You know, Ben-Hur is a good story. I also like romantic stories, you know. Oh, by the way, I love Bachelor. I follow Bachelor, like when it starts from beginning to end. And, um, and I, I would just follow like who's which 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 lady they're gonna choose and why and oh you made a big mistake then i'll follow them on twitter so i love that because it distresses me as well and it just shows that hey people out there have issues but uh we have to continue praying for them because who, who goes on bachelor but we watch it right so yeah that's what i do so my gospel song would be too faithful by Moses Blitz, okay? So that one talks about, uh, you know, that God is too faithful to disappoint you. Whatever he has promised, he'll give you. He's just, I mean, just, just imagine, he's too faithful to disappoint. I mean, it's so powerful when I just think about the fact that our God is so faithful that whatever happens, he'll be there to support me and support you then you've got no need to talk about the depression or worry because he's there. I think the issue, it would not be with my life, is not with God, but it's with me. Because he, this song tells me that God is a faithful God and he is too faithful to disappoint. So I shouldn't worry about anything. Oh, you are yesterday, today and forevermore. What you say? The Takeover 2.0